I call this the, the shimmer. This the first shimmer. So before we get into this vlog, I gotta show you this crazy package that came in the mail. I wish I would've did an unboxing for you guys right here. We got the Heineken 100 collaboration with Bape. Probably the best package that I've ever received in the mail. We got two iconic global brands, one legendary capsule collection. We got the t-shirt, we got the classic Bape logo, but what's really dope about it, you got that nice, iconic Heineken green star right here. If you guys have seen my past videos, I have a shirt pretty similar to this, but with a red shooting star, so with this green right here is a nice switch up. And then you got the Heineken 100 right here, black on black in the back. Definitely gonna be rocking this one as well. And then you have the coach's jacket, man, with the nice shimmer right here. Classic Bape logo, just like the t-shirt right here on the chest area. And I really like the subtle Bape camo integrated into the fabric right here. Looks really nice. Oh, I gotta say the best for last, we got the Bape shark hoodie right here. You know what's crazy about this one though? This is actually a half zip. You don't see that too often, the half zip, so it just comes right down to the chest area. I gotta put this on for you guys right now. Huge shout out to Bape one more time for sending over this package. Definitely an honor receiving it, not just because of clothes itself, but what the brand signifies right now. What they've done aesthetically and for the culture, definitely on another level. So thank you Bape one more time. Thank you Paris, Team Epiphany. If you guys don't know, Heineken has actually done collaborations for over eight years with other brands. They've done collaborations with Neighborhood Japan, Kith, so to add Bape to that list obviously was a really dope move but that's pretty much it again thank you bait for sending this over let's keep it moving hey what's going on all right welcome to the new headquarters for the richie lee collection we're gonna show you guys the upgraded storage unit we're gonna be doing a lot of work in here a lot of vlogging out of here let's go check it out go Look here, we done upgrade from a small unit to a nice 20 foot ceiling warehouse. It's been a wild, get fun, four weeks of this season. Uh -huh. We're gonna have more stock. Should we do a restock? I know there's a lot of things that a lot of people like, like the flannels, mm -hmm. more hoodies, more sizes in the striped shirts, zipper sweatpants. So we might do a small restock or a big one. All right, we'll see. You guys gotta stay tuned though. Yeah. So I gotta give a huge shout out to Dollar Shave Club. They sent this over to me to try out. And I know a lot of you guys in the comments lately been saying that facial hair looking a little distressed, you know, so I gotta keep it a little bit tighter. Five dollars for a starter kit is not bad at all if you guys are on a budget and whatnot. We got four shavers. We got the shave butter. Shave butter. Pretty refreshing. What else we got? We got one wipe aloe vera civilized way to wipe. Wipe what? Cleansing solution. All right, let me, let me let me open this up real quick. All right, busting out with the juice. Got a nice minty scent to it. Wipe down the face a little bit. But anyways, shout out to Dollar Shave Club. I do plan on using this. Maybe I'll check back in later with you guys. I know there's a lot of options right now when it comes to facial grooming kits and whatnot. Everything's on the market. So shout out to Dollar Shave Club. I've seen a lot of other YouTubers use this as well. Peace. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, so this might be the quickest update in YouTube history. You know, I know I told you that I'll give you guys an update on the shaving kit and whatnot. I do plan on doing that, but I was doing a little bit more research update. This wipe right here is not really meant for the face. If you look at this card, it says shit shower and shave trial kit. And in the back, it says one wipe Charlie. So actually, I just use this butt wipe right here on my face. Shout out to this wipe right here. That's all I gotta say. You know, if you want your butt wipe really nicely in a cleansing, aromatic way, definitely the one wipe Charlie. Shout out to DSV for sending these over. There's your update, guys. Works well on your face, too. All right, guys, so right now we are uh, walking in this uh, mile long hike to get a photo shoot done. I didn't really wear the most fitting shoes, the white on whites. We might be in Wisconsin, you guys don't know. All right, guys, so I got to show you guys a couple recent pickups. One being the 2018 Black Cement 3s. A lot of people have some mixed emotions about them. The quality is crazy. You got the nice tumbled leather. The shape is on point. You got the 
Nike Air on the back. What I really didn't like about the 2011 pair was how shimmery this midsole was. But on this pair, obviously, it's a nice matte black. Everything was executed to the T. Definitely a sneaker worth doubling up on, in my opinion. But you guys gotta let me know what do you guys think about these. Did you guys pick up a pair? I know we said in the high talk, 13 pairs minimum, all right? But there we have it, the Black Cement 3 is definitely, I think, a solid pickup. And then this next sneaker, we got the PG2s right here. I'm a huge fan of the PG1s. I knew when they came out, I had to pick them up. I have yet to hoop in them. I kind of walked around the house in them. But I got to say, man, this colorway is ugly. <laughs> I know you guys weren't expecting that. It was the first colorway besides the PlayStation version that was available, so I had to pick them up. I'm not going to give you guys a performance review after not even hooping in them yet, but uh, so far, my first initial reaction, I got to say, they're a little bit more comfortable than the PG ones. I like the strap of the PG ones, though, which obviously these do not have. I feel like there's a lot more padding on the sides than the PG ones. I can see these being pretty fire in some different colorways. You guys got to let me know what you guys think of the PG twos. I mean, for $110 for a basketball performance sneaker that is pretty good with some zoom in them. That's not bad, you can't complain. And they have the inner booty. Basically, it's like a whole inner lining on the shoe. They call them inner booties. I didn't make that name up. But that's pretty much it for my recent pickups that I got. Let me know what you guys think of the Black Cement 3s and the PG2s. Do you guys plan on getting any of these? Let's keep it moving. All right, guys, so really quickly, I wanted to run down this Canada Goose jacket. I know these have been gaining a lot of popularity. These range from $800 all the way to $1,000. I just wanted to kind of go over some things that you might want to know before purchasing one. Number one, this is real fox fur. You got goose feathers on the inside, and a lot of people are questioning the ethics of Canada Goose. <laughs> I don't know too much about that stuff, you know, I'm not really in that PETA lane, but if you do look on YouTube, there's a ton of videos about Canada Goose and how they really operate, so a lot of people are not really feeling that side of Canada Goose. I think it's really up to you to do your research and decide how you want to go about it, but the materials are genuine materials. You got the very iconic Canada Goose badge right here, but... This is made for extreme weather, okay? I was rocking this all day. Let me just put this on. It is made for super extreme weathers, okay? You know, in New York, it gets crazy freezing cold. That's why a lot of people in New York, Toronto rock it. For California, I would not suggest this jacket, okay? I'm in Seattle, and it's already questionable that I'm rocking this jacket when it's raining. Some people are like, man, are you that cold? I'm talking like scientists in Antarctica rock this jacket right here, okay? So that is one thing you gotta keep in mind. And a couple other things you gotta know about Canada Goose is the resale value is there. If you do sell it, it is one of those brands that's not gonna lose its value after you purchase it. I mean, this jacket right here is $7.95. If you do sell it on eBay, you're gonna get pretty much your money back or close to it. You're not gonna make money, but you're gonna get close to what you bought it for. So that is something to keep in mind. They keep it pretty standard season after season as far as their designs go. So it's not like you'll buy something this year and it's out of style next year. It's gonna last you a pretty long time. You are paying for the patch and whatnot. There are cheaper alternatives out there. You guys saw it in my video, Tan Cop the Uniqlo jacket, and that was 150, and it damn near looks pretty much the same, and it's more comfortable in my opinion. See, I'm already getting hot. I gotta take this off. It's hot. But I just kind of wanted to give you guys some more information. I know a lot of people have been asking about the Canada Goose lately. And, you know, Drake did a collaboration with them. So the hype is super real right now. That's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think of Canada Goose.